The Can West Games online qualifier workout number two is as many rounds and reps as possible in 10 minutes of five handstand push-ups, 10 deadlifts, 50 double unders. The men will use 185 pounds, the women will use 115 pounds. At the call of three, two, one, go, the athlete kicks up to the wall and begins the first round. Prior to starting the workout, the athlete and their judge will need to set the height for their handstand push-ups. To determine the height, the athlete stands in a hip width stance with their toes touching the wall. They raise their hands over their head, lock out their elbows, and with their thumbs touching, press their palms against the wall. Get a helper to make a mark at both wrists. Now, take a second mark three inches below the original mark. Draw or tape a level line connecting the two lower marks. Every repetition of the handstand push-up must start with both the athlete's heels above the straight line. Have the head make contact with the floor at the bottom and finish with the heels above the line. If the athlete's heels are not above the line at the start of the rep, it will not count. If the athlete fails to finish each handstand push-up with both heels above the line, it will not count. Both heels must cross the line and be in contact with the wall to be considered a good rep. If the athlete's head fails to touch the ground at the bottom of each handstand push-up, those reps will not count. If two plates and an ab mat are being used, the head must pass below the palms. Kipping is allowed. After five handstand push-ups, the athlete will move on to the deadlifts. Men will use a 185 pound bar, women will use a 115 pound bar. Each rep begins with the barbell on the ground and finishes when the athlete stands up and achieves full extension of the knees and hips with their shoulders behind the bar at the top of the movement. Any grip on the bar is permitted as long as their feet remain inside their hands. No sumo stance is allowed. Once lockout is achieved, the athlete can drop the barbell. Bouncing the bar will not be considered a good rep. The rep will not be counted if the athlete fails to achieve full extension of the hips at the top of the deadlift. Not locking out the knees at the top of the movement will also be considered a no rep. After 10 deadlifts, the athlete will move on to double unders. For every repetition of the double under, the rope must pass forward around the athlete's body. For each repetition to count, the rope must pass around the athlete's body twice. Single unders are not permitted. The Can West Games online qualifier workout number two is task oriented. Your score is the total number of repetitions completed in the 10 minutes. For Masters 40 plus and scale divisions, be sure to review the PDF on this page for full details of your workout.